Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Andrew Carr, the Chief Researcher for our study from RMIT University. We've been undertaking life cycle assessments for industry and government for more than 10 years. I should briefly explain what life cycle assessment is all about. Life cycle assessment, or LCA as I'll refer to it, is the assessment of the potential environmental impacts of a product over its lifetime. Stages of life commonly include extraction of raw materials, processing and production, distribution and disposal at the end of life. When assessing a product like crushed concrete aggregate, LCA is about considering the impacts that are generated by the entire production process, and not, not just what's inside the factory fence. Such impacts include the impacts of the machines, oh, I guess when you're looking at, at, at um, crushed concrete aggregate, such impacts include the impacts of machines that collect and transport demolition waste to the recycling plant. This includes the oil-derived fuel that they use, what it takes to extract that oil, the processes that refine it into diesel, and the emissions that occur as it is burned. Once at the plant, it involves assessing the impacts of the machines on site, including the electric crusher. Assessing the impacts include considering the generation of electricity in the Latrobe Valley through the burning of brown coal, the mining of the coal, the emissions as it is burnt, and the losses as the electricity is transmitted to the factory gate. And it also involves looking at water use and waste generated by the process. The collection of water, the energy to pump it to the site, the emissions associated with that energy, and the disposal of waste to landfill and even how that waste breaks down once it's in the landfill. So the first byproduct is landfill avoidance. Secondly, by recovering steel that would otherwise end up in landfill, the impacts associated with mining iron ore and converting it into steel in a blast furnace are also avoided. So the second byproduct of the process is steel. A very similar process review was undertaken for quarried stone aggregate, so a comparison could be drawn. So when you look at all over the life cycle and you, and you add up all of these impacts, how does crushed concrete aggregate stack up? To find out, we undertook an LCA study of crushed concrete aggregate and quarried stone aggregate, then compared the environmental impacts of each per tonne of product produced. The results are quite interesting. Against most of the indicators assessed, production of aggregate from recycled concrete produces far fewer environmental impacts than the production of aggregate from quarried stone. Global warming impacts were shown to be approximately one third of those for the quarried stone, and smog generation was significantly less than quarried stone. Water use was an exception to the trend, and the study concluded that water use is very similar between the processes. Solid waste, fossil fuel depletion, and mineral depletion impacts were in fact found to be benefits Use of crushed concrete aggregate avoids solid waste disposal. It avoids the use of fossil fuels to transport waste to landfill and to run steel blast furnaces. And it avoids the extraction of iron ore for steel making.